Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web for another classic Western film. Here on Westerns on the Web, we believe that Westerns are timeless, that these classic Westerns, that these older ones are timeless entertainment fit for the whole family to see, and they have a lot of good values and lessons to teach. And that's why we're sharing them. Westerns on the Web has literally thousands of Western films in our archives that we're planning on sharing, and some of them are extremely rare films. Kick your boots up, relax, get ready for another action-packed Western, and we'll see you after the show. You're a lucky boy today. Anything for me, Betty? Not a thing, Ted. I can't understand it. I've written home for months and haven't received an answer. You'll be going home pretty soon. The doctor says you'll be out in a few weeks. Gee, that'll be great. Heading for town, buddy? Yeah. It's a good four miles yet. Come on, slip on behind. I'll give you a lift. All right. Thanks. Join me a little drink, buddy? No, thanks. I'll see you later. Much advice for the left. That's all right. Bill! Ted, Ted Warren. This is a surprise. I'm sure glad to see you. You know, you're supposed to be dead. Dad? Yeah, I got that report about a year ago. Uh, 
If you'll excuse me, Ted, I have an appointment. Sure. I'll see you again, Bill. What's the matter, you old maverick? Don't you know me? Uh, I... Uh, what? Why, Ted! <laughs> Grizzly, I'm sure glad to see you. Well, Ted said you. Say, we thought you was dead. They said you were. Well, I heard, Grizz. Uh, why didn't you write? I did write. Well, nobody got none of your letters. Well, that's mighty funny. Come on. Where are you staying now, Greg? Oh, I've got myself a little shack out to us out of town. Hello, Kent. Hello. Wait a minute. Who's that soldier fellow just went down the street with Grizz? That's Ted Warren, just back from France. Hmm. I thought so. Uh, maybe we should add the town band out to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> About the time the mortgage fell due on the ranch, your pa's whole herd of cattle was rustled. You see, he expected to sell the herd and pay off the note. But after that happened, he just couldn't make the payment, so Kent foreclosed and took the ranch. However, he did give your pa my job as foreman. But your pa's been kind of failing ever since he got the news of your death. Must have been quite a blow to him. Now that I'm back, he'll snap out of it, Chris. And Mary, how is she? Oh, she never did get over grieving for you. She's working for Kent now. And for some reason, he seems to be just a little bit over nice to her. Yeah? I guess my being alive will be quite a shock. Maybe you'd better break the news to her kind of easy like, Chris. All right, come on. Not now. Tonight, when she goes home. Let's go out the ranch and see Dad. Well, by the way, you know, old Jake goes to the livery stable and got your horse, but I reckon you can buy him back again if you want to. Well, we'll sure try. There's something I want to say to you, Mary. Won't you reconsider my offer and marry me? You've gone over this so many times, Mr. Kent. Oh, I appreciate everything you've done for me. But I don't love you. You'll learn to care for me in time. I was only in love once. I understand. But I'd hoped that you'd forgotten him by now. I'll never forget him. You won't have to work when we're married. And your mother will be comfortable for the rest of her life. I'll talk it over with Mother tonight. You're old enough to judge for yourself. Let's get married today. Today? I've waited a long time, Mary. I'll give you my answer in the morning. I'll be right back. You may go home early then, if you wish. Sure, glad to see you. And I'm glad to be here, Jake. I think you've got my horse. Yep. You know, Ted, I only bought him to help your dad out when he lost the ranch. If you want him, you can buy him back for just what I paid for him. 
$85. Make out a bill of sale, Jake. It's a deal. Warren just came back from France. Now you fellas lay for him outside of town. Hold him until you hear from me. How are we going to do it? There you are, kid. All right, Jake. Boy is right there in the corral. I'll get the saddle. now down there at the liver table. I'll wait for Mary. All right, Grizz. So long, Jake. So long, Dad. Follow him and do what I told you. down the border told me to look you up. Said he could use some more cattle. Did he get any? No. There's no more cattle left around here. Said maybe he can use a gun man. Here's my credentials. I think you can handle a gun, huh? You said it. Maybe I can use you. See those two fellows that just left? Yeah. When they come back, tell them I said to put you up. Right. Your name Warren? Well, yes, it is. But you remember me? Can I walk home with you a ways? I got something awful important to tell you. Why, certainly. I have a little shopping to do first. All right. I'll wait here for you. I won't be long.
Well, what are you doing here, boy? My boy, my boy. <laughs> they said you was dead. I did have a pretty close call, Dad, but I'm all right now. Well, why didn't you write to us and let us know? I wrote to someone here almost every week. There's something mighty strange about you not getting my letter. Let's go and sit down and have a talk. Well, he got away from us. Got away? Can't you fools do anything right? Go on and get out. I don't want you seen around here. You're the last of the worn, son. And I'm mighty proud of you. I'm sorry I lost everything and happened a home for you to come to. Don't feel that way about it, Dad. It's enough having you here. We'll get started again somewhere. Well, I know we will. Has Kent treated you all right? Oh, yes. He let me stay on here as foreman, though there isn't much to do now. You see, the cattle's all gone. Well, don't worry. It won't be long before we'll have another herd of our own. Of course we will. I don't like to rush off, Dad, but... Do you mind if I ride over and see Mary? Certainly not. I bet she'll be surprised. I won't be long, Dad. We'll have dinner together in town. That'll be great. I'll be waiting for you, son. So that sneaking coyote is trying to force you to marry him, huh? Well, I reckon I know the reason why. Him are coming now. I know.
got some great news for you, Kent. Teddy, my son's back from the war and well and strong as ever. Yeah, I know that. Come inside. I want to have a talk with you. I know your son's back, Warren. I also know he's robbed me of the girl that was to become my wife. He's taken Mary from me. Now I'm getting even. I'm taking you from him. Just what do you mean, Kent? Just this. I didn't keep you here because I liked you. It's because I hate you. That's why I rustled your cattle and rushed. That's why I've kept you with me. To someday even things up. Why, you... Maybe you'll understand when I tell you my real name, Selby. Years ago in Kentucky, you Warrens wiped out my family. I'm the only one left. And now I'm getting even. I'm sending your son to join you, Warren. Understand? Understand? Letter came from France, all right, saying you've been killed in your plane crash. I can't understand it, Mary. I wrote home every week. I wonder if Ken didn't know anything about this. He runs the post office. It wouldn't surprise me none. Maybe he saw you in town today. That's why he tried to rush Mary into marrying him. I'll bet you was the one that got those men to attack you. I wonder. Well, I'll see you tonight, Mary. I'm going to have dinner with Dad. All right, Ted. Oh, I'm so glad you're alive and well. Here, son. You take this long. You can't tell what else you might run into. All right, Grizz. Until I get my own. Well, I'll see you later. Hurry, Grace. I can't wait to tell Mother. Tell you fellow to put me up. Who are you? All right, Gaines. Have a drink? Never refuse. Hey, Barkey. Yes, sir. Give Mr. Gaines a little drink. A little whiskey.
up, Kent. Well, this is a surprise. Yeah. I understand everyone thought I was killed. Well, that was the report. Didn't any of my letters reach the post office? I didn't see any. You see, Mary's been taking care of the mail. Well, it's mighty strange where those letters went to. Well, maybe they were lost overseas. Have you seen Dad around? No, I haven't seen him. I just got here. Maybe he's inside. It was mighty nice of you letting Dad stay on here as foreman, Ken. Well, he didn't have any place to go. I did the best I could for him. I suppose you'll be getting married soon. Maybe. I'll see you later. I've looked everywhere for him, Sheriff. No one's seen him in town. I'm afraid something's happened. It's strange, your dad disappearing like this. You know, ever since his cattle was rustled and he lost the home place, my suspicions about Kent. I've seen him associating with some mighty questionable characters. Well, if we don't locate your father by tonight, Ted, we'll go out to the ranch tomorrow and see if we can't pick up some clues. Well, if you locate him, Ted, be sure and let me know. I will, sir. Good night. So long. What are you doing here? What do you think? Hand over those letters, Kent. Come over. What's going on here? They broke into my store, Sheriff, and tried to hold me up. That's a lie. I followed him here and discovered he had my letters. When I tried to get them, he pulled a gun on me. Are you sure they're yours? Absolutely. You can see for yourself. I'm informing the government about this, Kent. But if Warren here wants to press this charge, I'll take you in right now. I don't want to cause any trouble, Sheriff. He helped my dad by letting him stay on the ranch as foreman. I'm not forgetting that. But if I find out, Kent, that you're mixed up in dad's disappearance, I'll not only press this charge against you, but I'll take it out of your hide as well. Come on, Sheriff. Can I use the phone, Sheriff? Sure, go right ahead. Hello? Hello, Mary. Well, I have some news for you. I just discovered where my letters disappeared to. Yeah. I caught Kent taking them out of his safe. Yes. Well, did you tell the Sheriff? Well, I'm there now. Are you coming over tonight? I don't think I can make it tonight, Mary. Dad is strangely disappeared and we're trying to locate him. Be sure and let me know if you find him. All right, goodbye, dear. I'll go out the ranch with you now, Ted. I wish you would, Sheriff.
Take this note to Mary Burns' house. Be sure there are no visitors when you give it to her. And after she reads it, take her to the old deserted shack. I'm going to get a little sleep. I'll join you later. Now, here's what I want you to tell her. Sit down, fellas. shot me and left me for dead. Can't. Shot you? Get the doctor, Grizz. Right away, boy. Where'd he get you, Dad? Right, right, right through there. I don't think it's bad. I'll tell you just what happened and why he did it. Do anything to the doc gets here. So Kent's gonna get me, eh? Yeah? We better watch Mary's house too, Sheriff. Yes. Now, uh, Bruce, I want you to start at the beginning and tell me everything just as it happened. All right, Sheriff. Doctor. I'm glad to see you safe home, boy. Hello, Sheriff. All right, Doc. Well, Bruce, so they finally got you, eh? Good, Doc. Uh, well, let's have a look. Miss Burns? Yes? Coming into town, I met the Sheriff and young Warren. His father's been seriously hurt, and they can't move him. And he wants to talk to you and Ted. Here's a note he asked me to give you. I've got to go, Mother. Yes, dear. I'll only be a minute. Won't you come in? Well, thank you, ma'am. There you are, Bruce. You're going to be all right. It was only a flesh wound. And the bullet, pressing up against an important spinal nerve ganglia, caused the partial paralysis. But now that we've got it out, you'll be all right. All you need is a good rest. After tonight, yes. 
But I have a plan in mind that I intend to carry out. If I could walk all the way over here, a few more steps won't hurt me none. Don't you worry about Kent, Dad. The sheriff and I'll take care of him. That isn't it. Though he did try to kill me legally, he owns the ranch. If I could get uh, some witnesses to a confession that he rustled my cattle to keep me from paying the mortgage, why, I got a fighting chance to get my ranch back. Otherwise, it's his word to get fine about the rustling. Just what is your plan? You know the bedroom over the cellar? You mean the one with the secret entrance through the closet? That's right. Kent doesn't know it's there. Now, what I have in mind is for us to... Uh... Ken. Ken. I've come to take you with me. No. 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 You can't hurt me now, Ken. Go away, Warren. Go away. You rustled my cattle and stole my ramp. Yes. And you shot me. Yes. Now you're going to kill my son. No. No. If you just go away. Ted. Sheriff. Come on, Ken. Get up. All right, Sheriff. Hand. 
We'll never pick up his trail tonight. We got to get your pole over home. Yes, and watch Mary's house. Glad to see you, Mrs. Oh, Burns. Sheriff. Mrs. Burns. Yes? Evening. What? Where's Mary? Mary? Isn't she here? I knew it was a trick. A stranger brought this note. She said it was in your handwriting. She saddled a horse and went away with them. Dear Mary, found Dad seriously hurt. We can't move him. He wants to talk to both of us. Please come at once, Ted. Which way did they go? They took the south road. We'll have to hurry, Sheriff. I tell you, Ken, I'm not going with you. Mary. Listen, we'll be married just as soon as we leave here. And I'll send for your mother right away. For the last time, I tell you, I'm not going. Come in. Now, don't let her out of that room. There'll be a nice split for you when I get back. I'll watch her, Chief. Why would you, Chief? I wouldn't trust him alone. I advise you to let me stay here and see that he keeps his word. Maybe you're right, Slip. You stay with him. But be ready to leave when I get here. Right. Now, you boys got your orders. And remember, if you see that Warren kid, you know what to do. Chief didn't trust you. <laughs> Said I better stay here and watch you. Oh, yeah? Got a match? Yeah. Don't worry, Miss Burns. I'm a government man. So don't worry anymore. You're going home. Oh, I'm so glad. Come on, let's get out of here. It's useless, Ted. Look. It's Kent and the gang, but Mary is not with them. We can back trail them, Sheriff. All right, but I wonder what they're up to. Are you all right, Mary? Yes, thanks to this gentleman. I'm Harrington, the Secret Service, Sheriff. Well, this is a surprise, Harrington. 
I'm glad you're here. I joined up with this gang to get the lowdown. My boys are waiting near the pass. I could have stopped the robbery, but last night when they brought this little lady in, I thought I'd stay here and take care of her. The lucky thing you did. We got to work fast, Sheriff. They're robbing the bank in town. Now, you got to catch them when they come out. Can't figure them picking the girl up to the sack back yonder. Yeah? That's just where I'm going to be. All right, son. I reckon you can handle him if he gets there. Anyhow, we'll try and get them all. Oh, by the way, you'll find another prisoner there. Good. Chris, you take Marion home. And you better take the back road. It's safer. Oh, all right. Well, I sure would like to be in on this year roundup. Come on, Mary, let's get home to your mall. You'll be careful. Sure, I'll be all right. me cornered, boys. They couldn't get away. They're robbing the bank, I reckon, right now. But we'll surprise them when they come back. This is Sheriff Drake, boys. Howdy. Howdy. How are you, boys? We'd better be going, Harrington. Right. got to come through here. We let them pass and surprise them from the rear. Right, Sheriff. can take this old road, Harrington, and head him off at the end of the pass. Right you are, Sheriff. Let's go. Where's Kent? He was working over the pass. Where's the money? Kent's got it. Double cost you, huh? Turn him into town, men. Come on. We know where to find him.
So it's you, huh? Eh? One squawk out of you and I'll drill you. What happened to you? Where's Mary? Well, why don't you talk? Where is she? Don't move, Kent. Drop that gun. Turn around. Get over at that wall. So you're the last of the Selbys, eh? Well, I'm the last of the Warrens. Shooting's too good for you, Kent. But I'm gonna break you with my bare hand. There's your man, Harrington. Good work, son. I guess you'll be wanting him, too, Sheriff. Mr. Mears Warren, what do you think of your cow? Well, Mr. Foreman, we think they're swell. Ah, doggy. Wasn't that just very enjoyable, wonderful, classic entertainment? And it's timeless. Westerns are timeless. 
Thank you for joining us here on Westerns on the Web. Make sure you check back with us often because we're going to have a lot more Western films for you to view here online for free. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail.